Hi everybody. Um, this video is coming to you live from my bed and I'm surrounded by like a million stuffed animals. So, so every, everything's quite good. Um, so you're probably watching this video because you've either subscribed to my channel, in which case thank you very many, um, or because you're brand new to ABDL and you're trying to find out some information about it. If you're watching this for the second reason, I just wanted to take the time to say welcome. We're glad to have you. <laughs> Um, before we get into the bulk of the video, I have a few things that I need to say to any new people who might be watching. Um, okay, so ABDL is unusual, but it's not bad. There is nothing wrong with you for being interested in this. And finally, you're not alone. There are hundreds and hundreds of us out there, and we all go through a similar period of searching before we define exactly what it is that we're interested in in regards to ABDL. I know right now it's likely that you feel completely alone, that you'll never fit in anywhere because of this budding interest of yours, but I made this video for the express purpose of telling you that that's just not true. You're not alone. I felt like that when I started, um, and then I, I started making up events, and I started going on websites, and I started meeting people, and I learned that I'm, I'm actually pretty cool, and being interested in ABDL doesn't take away from that, it actually might just make it a little bit better. Okay, let's go. So, maybe you found this video on your search for more information on the subject, so that's understandable. There's not a great deal of information that comes up when you search for the term on the internet. Um, the first thing that comes up, I think, is Urban Dictionary, which is not terribly flattering from memory. Um, let's see, and I think the other sites that come up are like um, diaper story websites, which isn't, which aren't very helpful for information either. Um, okay, so just in case you're not already aware, I'm just going to give you a little bit of information about ABDL itself. So <coughs> I'm just going to, I'm just going to read what I've written here because it's very specific. Um, ABDL is a kink fetish pastime that stands for adult baby diaper lover. And obviously that term means different things for different people. So there's a whole bunch of names for ABDL bottoms. We've got babies, toddlers, little girls, little boys, princesses, princes, brats. <laughs> some people think of themselves as age players because they're interested in a wide range of roles. And some people are just into the diaper aspect of the kink. And those people are called diaper lovers. Yay! Obviously. Um, and there are a lot of people who are into the different top roles, um, like daddies, mummies, caretakers, grandparents, babysitters, nannies, teachers, and there's, the list goes on and on and on. Obviously, I've not um, listed all of the roles that exist out in the world because I'm not the world authority on ABDL. I've just given you a couple that I have heard of in my lifetime. So, obviously, like I said before, um, ABDL is different for everybody. Um, for some people, ABDL is regressive, meaning that they mentally regress to a younger age, like me. Uh, for others, it's a stress reliever, and for others, it's a sexual. Okay. Right now I need to do the obligatory disclaimer here and say that um, healthy consensual ABDL has nothing to do with pedophilia. Okay, now that that's out of the way. Um, so, ABDL is sexual for some people, and it's non-sexual for others. Um, it's personally non-sexual for me. Um, basically, it's it just calms me down. It makes me feel safe and warm, um, and it just makes me feel happy. Um, I can't really explain it other than, other than saying that. That's just how it feels to me. It just makes me feel good inside. Um, so even though it's personally non-sexual for me, it doesn't bother me that other people find it sexual because at the end of the day, no matter how you want to um, express your interest in this kink or fetish or pastime or whatever you want to call it, um, if it's between consenting adults, then it's perfectly acceptable if no matter what role you want to play. So first and foremost, the thing that I need to stress is that ABDL, it's, it's a playground. And nobody on this earth has the right to tell you how you can and cannot play. Okay, so um, other things. So if you're looking to join like an online community to get some more information or to meet some people and you're over the age of 18, I suggest trying FetLife, 
which is a BDSM and fetish website, but it also has um, a lot of a lot of good information and groups about ABDL. Um, there's actually there's groups on just about every subject on there or, or every fetish, um, and it's also really good because a lot of the groups on fet life um, are broken down into um, what you might call it like area based groups. So I run a group called Queensland ABDL which is obviously just dedicated to people who are interested in ABDL and live in the state of Queensland. Um, and I'm almost positive that there'll be an ABDL or age play group on FetLife for where you live, unless you live in a really remote place like Antarctica. And even that wouldn't surprise me to find an Antarctica ABDL group. <laughs> okay, it might, just a little bit. Um, okay, so... And FetLife's a good place to go to look for events, but I'll talk a little bit about that later. Um, that, so there are a few ABDL forums out there like ADISC and Daily Diapers that provide a lot of information about ABDL in general, including stuff like um, diaper brands or anything else you might have in, like any questions on. Um, and ADIC is also a suitable resource for younger people who are into ABDL also. Um, most of the other websites that I can think of, like Tumblr or Reddit, that also have um, a very strong ABDL following, are uh, only 18 plus. Um, and obviously there's nothing wrong with having an interest in ABDL at such, at, um, um, when you're under the age of 18. But I'm obviously not going to tell you to go out and go to meetings and, and engage in play when you're under the age of 18. Because, no, not a good plan. Okay, so um, I mentioned earlier about um, events. So if you're looking to join a real life community, then FetLife is probably the way to go. They have an events tab that you can just click on and it'll tell you events that are in the nearby area. So <laughs> my mind's getting very excited. Um, so I organize a monthly munch on the last Friday of every month. Ooh, tongue twister. Um, right here in Brisbane. And a lot of big cities have their own regular events and most of these people who run the events will advertise them on FetLife. So that'll be easy to find. I'm also pretty sure that there is a website called, I think it's littlesmunch.com which um, has a big map of the world and little points all over it, which can show you um, where, where munches are all over the world. So you might be able to find one that's in your area. So hopefully you'll be able to get out there and get involved and have a great time. There's less um, online resources than there was when I was first getting interested in ABDL. There we used to have a website called Diaper Space, which was actually pretty... Um, pretty terrible I think is the general consensus but that's the first website that I joined that that told me all about ABDL and there's no like um uh well there's not really many ABDL um social networking sites like there is diaper book and I'm not sure many people go on that still and I think there's diaper match but that might be a dating website I'm not quite sure I will leave a list of resources in the um, information box underneath the video and you can have a little bit of a click around for yourself and I feel like I need to stress again if you are under the age of 18 it's um, it's probably best that you don't join up to 18 plus websites and lie about your age just even though that's a piece of advice that I would never follow when I was much younger, but don't pay attention to me. I'm not. I'm. I'm not a good role model. Um. <laughs> okay. So thank you very much for watching. If you're new, I hope you feel um a little bit less apprehensive about this pastime. If you're old, thank you very much again for watching my videos constantly. And Leo, thanks you too. Have a good afternoon, everybody. And happy ABDLing. Bye.